100 Greatest Matches, Part 1. This is Fox Sports, 1340 AM. Number 100, Bruno San Martino vs. Pedro Morales. WWF Championship Showdown at SEA Stadium, September 30th, 1972. Showdown at SEA was the WrestleMania before WrestleMania ever existed. It was the original supercard of wrestling. For years, Bruno San Martino had been the biggest star of the WWF, but Pedro Morales was on his trail by 1972. Their match drew over 2,200 fans to SEA Stadium. During that time, it was rare for the two baby faces to collide in the squared circle. These two legends of the era wrestled to a draw at 65 minutes. The show was the precursor to what we know now as a pay-per-view. 99. Randy Orton vs. Christian, SummerSlam 2011 Four months earlier, Edge retired because of injuries. As a result, he had to forfeit the World Heavyweight title. Christian would later become champion as a way to pay tribute to his best friend ever. Fans are generally happy because Christian was a longtime veteran who was mainly seen as Edge's sidekick. Not soon after, Orton would emerge to defeat Christian for the title. Christian had the support of Edge and the fan at first until he used heel tactics to win the title. The roles reversed as Randy would become the babyface, regardless of whoever was or heel. Kristen and Randy proved to have great chemistry in the ring. Their matches were among the most noteworthy for SmackDown in 2011. The Viper would walk out of SummerSlam victorious to become the World Heavyweight Champion. 98. CM Punk vs. Daniel Bryan WWE Championship WWE Over the Limit 2012 CM Punk and Daniel Bryan were regarded by many as the greatest stars that the independent circuit has ever produced. Both were really well renowned among the internet crowd as their grassroots followed continued into WWE. By this time, Punk was reigning WWE champion, while Bryan lost the World Heavyweight title to Sheamus in the famous 18 second match at WrestleMania 28. Daniel would also lose the rematch to the Celtic Warrior in a 2 3 fall match at Extreme Rules match. Bryan's fortunes would change when he clashed with fellow Ring of Honor alum CM Punk. It was a true testament of greatness for both ROH stars that the WWE Championship revolved around them during the summer of 2012. CM Punk proved that he could not only have great matches just with the likes of John Cena, Jeff Hardy, Triple H, and The Undertaker, but he would also deliver a great technical match with a fellow ring general like Daniel Bryan. For those who that are enthusiasts about technical wrestling. This is a great treat. Punk would retain the title in his show, Stealing Match. The sidelines also introduced AJ Lee, as she would play a huge role in the accumulation of their feud. Number 97. Stone Cold Steve Austin vs. Drew Love Over the Edge 1998 After winning the WWF Championship from Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 14, it seems as if Stone Cold Steve Austin would not have a great feud to initially start off his run as champion. That was until Mick Foley transformed the Cactus Jack into Dude Love and interrupted Austin's match with Vince McMahon. Instead of giving Vince the mandible claw, Dude turned around and gave it to Austin. Interestingly enough, Dude Love was also the replacement for Shawn Michaels when it came to being Stone Cold's tag team partner. They were good partners but better rivals. Their match at Over Edge was the accumulation of their feud as it personified the Attitude Era. It was a pure street fight from the start, as Foley would say. It was wild for all the right reasons. The biggest twist in the match was Vince McMahon himself, a referee, along with the involvement of Vince's stooges, Pat Patterson and Gerald Briscoe. The officiating was shady until The Undertaker got involved in the chaos. The Texas Rattlesnake would put the nail in the coffin with the stunner while using Vince's lifeless arm to make three count. Number 96, Trish Stratus vs. Lita, WWE Women's Championship Unforgiving 2006. When it comes to women's wrestling, at the dawn of the new millennium, 
Trish Stratus and Lita were the top flag bearers besides China. Trish versus Lita was a female equivalent of Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. Trish was Bret and Lita was HBK. They carried the torch for women very well going into the Attitude Era into the Ruthless Aggression Era. It was a testament of their greatness anytime women can main event the R.A.W. They opened the door for the likes of Natalia, Charlotte, Sasha Banks, AJ Lee, and others. That is why it was fitting for Trish to have the final match of her career against her arch rival in her hometown of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Trish would defeat Lita with a sharpshooter and ride off into the sunset on top. 95. CM Punk vs. Jeff Hardy World Heavyweight Championship SummerSlam 2009 In 2009, CM Punk and Jeff Hardy had a very heated and personal rivalry. Punk took shots at Jeff's personal demons and drug problems in his promos. At Night of Champions, Punk lost the title to Hardy. The feud would continue into the SummerSlam. On that night, CM Punk and Jeff Hardy clashed in a TLC match for the WHC. The best element to add to this was match was the difference in ideals. Punk was straight edge and self-righteous, while Jeff was extreme and lived for the moment. Punk would emerge as the winner and the new he world heavyweight champion. This match was the right main event because it absolutely stole the show, as it was also pinnacle of the feud. After the match, CM Punk would be attacked by The Undertaker. 94. Macho Man Randy Savage vs. Diamond Dallas Page Spring Stampede 1997 Spring Stampede 1997 was the high point for what the feud of the year in WCW was during 1997. Savage was at his most intense and unhinged state at the time, while DDP was at his most resilient. This match had everything you wanted in a brawl, especially when it came to weapons, chairs, trash cans, etc. They brought the fight to each other. It was the hardest working man in the WCW, DDP first, the most insane man in WCW, Savage, and they held nothing back. 93. Hulk Hogan vs. Iron Sheik, WWF Championship Madison Square Garden on January 23, 1984. Giant Sheik kicked off the new year by ending the five-year WWF title reign of Bob Buckland with a camel clutch along with Arnold Sheik throwing in the towel. With Buckland's injuries, he had a new American hero, enter Hulk Hogan. Hulk had just left AWA to return to WWF, but under new ownership. The Hulkster was the hot new star of the Vince McMahon Jr. would pins his hopes on to be the future of wrestling. Vince Jr. made the investment and it paid off. Hogan would challenge Sheik for the title with Bob's endorsement. On January 23, 1984, Hulk Hogan would battle the Iron Sheik in Austin Square Garden for the WWF Championship. Hogan was on fire during this match, as Iron Sheik could not handle him. The Hulkster ran around that night. Hogan powered out by the camel clutch before nailing Sheik with a big boot and the leg drop for the 1-2-3. This match is significant because it launched the phenomenon known as Hulkmania. It would also mark the start of Hogan's four-year reign as WWF champion. This was the starting point to a journey that took wrestling to incredible new heights. The rest is history. 92. Bailey vs. Sasha Banks NXT Women's Championship, NXT TakeOver, Brooklyn. Since NXT was exploded in popularity and quality of talent, the women's division has made a comeback. The leaders of the new Divas Revolution, WE, has been the four horsewomen, Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, Bayley, and Becky Lynch. In NXT, the top feud among the women was between Sasha and Bayley. They set a new standard for women wrestling not just among modern wrestling, but also of all time. Well, before they had even started to decorate their resumes, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn has been considered to be critically better than the SummerSlam PBV for the following night. The card itself was, for NXT was great, but the match that carried that event was Sasha vs. Bayley for the Women's Championship. With Bayley's will and determination as the underdog for Sasha, arrogance as, as the champion. Sasha consistently targeted the arm just in time for bank for the bank statement. However, Bailey's aggression won out in the as she defeated Sasha and with the Bailey back 
suplex to become the new NXT Women's Champion. The other horsewomen Charlotte and Becky would join them to celebrate. The other horsewomen Charlotte and Becky would join them to celebrate. Hulk Hogan vs. Andre the Giant, WWF Championship WrestleMania 3. The irresistible force vs. the immovable object. This match has been a part of wrestling lore and mythology for nearly 30 years. Two of the figureheads of wrestling for their time, Andre the Giant during the 70s was a symbol of wrestling all over the world going into the early 80s. Hogan would take the torch and run even further in the 80s. Andre the Giant was undefeated for 15 years leading up to this point. However, there was one prize that had eluded him during his winning streak, the world title. His good friend Hulk Hogan sat on the throne as WWF champion. Filled with inner frustration and jealousy, Andre joined Bobby, the brain, Heenan, for, in the mission to dethrone Hogan. The frustration reached its fever pitch at WrestleMania 3 as two of the biggest titans of all of their time collided. While the match was not and aesthetically pleasing as Savage vs. Steamboat was earlier that night. This match was the top draw of the PPV. Hogan vs. Andre was a spectacle of the mo monumental proportions. The defining moment of the match was the slam heard around the world as the Hulkster used every ounce of strength to pick up the 525 giant to body slam before finishing him off. The leg drop was the exclamation point. This match was the official confirmation that the torch has been passed for the first time in WrestleMania history. This was Super Hogan at his apex. Number 90, Charlotte vs. Sasha Banks vs. Becky Lynch, Triple Threat Women's Championship match WrestleMania 32. In July of 2015, Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch were all brought into the main roster as they announced by Stephanie McMahon on Raw. This would be considered the start of the women's revolution in wrestling as they could, would soon carry the women's division on their shoulders. Charlotte would defeat Nikki Bella to end their, her reign as Divas Championship, soon ending the era of the Divas. At WrestleMania 32, Lita unveiled the new women's championship as Charlotte. Sasha and Becky would compete in the triple threat match to crown the new champion. Charlotte had the Diva title, as well as the help from her legendary father, Ric Flair. This match was the perfect storm on the top three figureheads of the women's division. Sasha even made a tribute to Eddie Guerrero with the design of her tights as well as her frog splash. The chemistry between these women was excellent. Ending of the match saw Becky Lynch give Charlotte a fisherman suplex from the top rope. Charlotte would then roll to the floor, which opened the door for Sasha Banks to apply the bank statement on Becky. However, Charlotte returned just in time to throw Sasha out of the ring so he could lock the figure eight leg lock on Lynch. Meanwhile, Ric Flair distracted Charlotte from getting back to the ring. During the time, Charlotte made Becky submit to their figure eight and become inaugural women's champion.